Tom began his education at Penn State Schuylkill and completed his electrical engineering degree at University Park. He then earned an MS, PhD, and PhD at MIT and NYU, respectively. Tom spent more than 21 years as director of McKinsey and Company, where he consultant, consulted with the management of high-tech companies. He also served as the director of executive education at the Scandinavian International Management Institute and board chair of Evaxion Biotech. Good deal. Throughout his career, Tom has been an important mentor, teacher, volunteer, and friend to students in STEM fields at Penn State, especially at the Schuylkill campus. Like so many of those honored today, Tom has proven how much he cares about the future of Penn State and our students and faculty. I'm proud to present him with the Alumni Fellow Award. Thank you, President Barron, for your generous introduction. Uh, I'm a little tempted, since we're at the last, to say um, you've heard everything. Thanks. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> but that would pass up a great opportunity to get a, a message across that is dear to me. Uh, and I'm going to preface it by, you know, giving you a little bit of confidence that it won't go on forever. Mark Twain said, a good speech has a good beginning, it has a good end, and not much in between. <laughs> so that's the formula I'm going to use. I'm a success today because I had a friend who believed in me. And I did not have the heart to let him down. That's a, a quote not from me but it's from Abraham Lincoln, a man much more successful than me. But that is the essence of my message, and I think most of us have put that message in. We are dependent upon the support of other people. That was my good beginning. Pretty short, huh? Uh, to illustrate, I'd just like to tell you one or two stories. It depends on whether you look like you're falling asleep or not. Uh, the first story concerns how I got from Bell Laboratories, which was this research institute, great in research institute, to McKinsey. Very different kettle of fish. I had a friend named Paul, who was a colleague at Bell Labs. He left Bell Labs before I did. He got an MBA from Stanford. He was recruited by McKinsey in San Francisco, and he saw during the course of my remaining years at Bell Labs that I was getting uneasy. You remember that some of you may remember the telecommunications deregulation and that was the breakup of Bell Labs and it was I was starting to get a little worried that this was might affect me. So he said why don't you interview at McKinsey? And I thought a little bit and tried to remember what what is that? And all of a sudden it struck me and I said that would be very interesting that's the company, McKinsey, that issued the reports on the behavior of American men and women sexually, right? <laughs> you remember, Paul said, no, no, no. <laughs> McKinsey is the world's top management, leading top management consulting firm. I said, oh, what's that? <laughs> he coached me a little bit. I had the interviews, I got the job, 22 years later, I retired, as McKinsey people do, for the first time, and went into my next career. It was small things like that, but with a friend who recognized that I needed a little help or a little push to go into something else. And he said to me during that course of things that I had the talent to do what needed to be done at McKinsey, even if I didn't know what it was. I took his word, and it worked out. I'm humbled by, as all of us uh, fellows are, by what has been accomplished by this group. You know, when I'm last, I sometimes think maybe I am least. This group is an outstanding group of people coming from Penn State, 
showing that we, in fact, have made a contribution of great, to a great extent to the world. I want to congratulate my fellow fellows. I look forward, really, to getting to know you much better. I think it would make a great friend, friends, as if we did get to know one another. Thanks Penn State as a whole for starting me on my private journey from the wrong side of the train tracks in Frackville, Pennsylvania, believe it or not, that's where I grew up, to the larger world. I lived in four continents. I worked in 20 countries. I've had the benefit of seeing the world. And it's really because of Penn State. It would not have happened without Penn State. Thanks for the Alumni Association for, being, for giving this award to me. And a special thanks to the Penn State Schuylkill staff, to Jane Zintak, and to Kelly Austin, who I think put up my nomination. And of course, I can't forget my lovely wife, Catherine, who herself is very accomplished as a, ex a retired Superior Court judge. She thinks I'm OK. <laughs> I do have three children. And they could not join us because they're sc scattered around the world. But I wanted to make sure if they ever saw this message that I wanted to thank them for prospering despite my preoccupation with my professional life. It's been a great journey that I've been on from Penn State into the world that we all have here. Thank you very much.